Good morning. Would everyone just take your seat for one minute before we start? If there are chairs in the back of the graduates. They are available for the audience to sit. This is the largest graduating class we've had at East Central as our school is growing. So let's work together. Let's work together on getting everybody a seat. If there is a seat, or if you can squeeze together, would you please stand and wave at the people in, uh, in the back and let them come on in, just like we do in church. Come on. Let's cooperate here. If there is a seat available near you, okay, there's some up here. There's some people up here waving. We've got a lady back there waving. We've got one down here on the, the good seats and the bleachers, the short seats. Thank you very much. We'll continue to get people seated the best we can. Did we start early? Yes, we did. Why? Why would we start early? You see, our graduates came from the cafeteria and had to walk about three-fourths of a block down the hill. There is a line of thunderstorms moving toward Ada, and we wanted to get them in here and get this ceremony on before they got soaking wet. So thank you everybody for being patient on that. <laughs> Chief Miller, would you step forward? Bert Miller, Chief of the East Central Police Department, is in constant contact with the National Weather Service, the Mesonet sites, the local emergency managers. He's going to keep me informed if there's any severe weather. Right now, I think we're going to get a line of thunderstorms, some lightning and some thunder. Nothing severe is, is projected. We're under no warnings. We're under no watches. So what a great graduating class we have to honor today. And we're going to get this ceremony in. If for some reason the weather changes suddenly, the good news is most of this building is underground. The bad news is you're, you're under the uh, dome. There are aisles under both seats, and there are rooms, locker rooms, that have all been opened. Second floor here is underground, there are classrooms, It'll, they're open. Second floor is a cinder block building here, it's open. If for some reason we're caught unexpectedly, we'll move in an orderly fashion into those rooms. Orderly fashion, we will move into those rooms. I think this is the happiest group we've ever had. Let's just give yourself a big round of applause for the team. At this time, I'd like to call Ashley Tucker to come forward to sing the national anthem. Would you please stand? Gentlemen, would you please remove your caps? And please remain standing for a moment of silence at the conclusion of the national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the home of the
I would ask that you take a moment of silence and pray or think about those who aren't with us today that you would like to be here, our veterans, our military men and women serving overseas. And most of you may not know, but we have over 90 students from Nepal. Let's think about and pray for the people of Nepal. Thank you. You may be seated. Welcome to May Commencement 2015. Join us today as we recognize the accomplishments and honor the 2015 East Central University graduates. This is Mother's Day weekend. We want to honor the mothers. If you are a mother, would you please stand so that we can congratulate and honor you? My mother's here today. She's a 1949 graduate of East Central University. If you are an alum of East Central University, would you please stand? At East Central University, we always recognize and honor our veterans. If you are a veteran, would you please stand so that we may thank you for your service to our country? people that helped you get where you are today. I want all of the parents, grandparents, spouses to stand, graduates, find your folks, and give them a big shout out. Would the faculty and staff of East Central University please stand so that we may honor and recognize you. Thank you. Thank you for all you have done and do for our students. We have distinguished guests on the platform. I'm going to introduce them and ask them to stand as I introduce them. Please hold your applause until we have them all standing. On my far left, Dr. Mark Hollingsworth, Professor of Music, Dean of the College of Liberal Arts and Social Science, and today's announcer. Dr. Shirley Mixon, Professor of Business Administration and Director of the Reach Hire Program, and one of the two senior faculty members at East Central University. And Mrs. Phyllis Danley, Director of University Advancement and Executive Director of the ECU Foundation. On my right, Regent Connie Riley, who I will more formally introduce in a moment. Mrs. Debbie Cornelison, our commencement speaker today, and she likewise will be more fully introduced in a moment. And Dr. Dwayne Anderson, Provost and Vice President of Academic Affairs. Now. You all did great. Holding your applause until they've all been introduced is one of the hardest commands to follow at a university. At this time, it's my pleasure to introduce East Central Regent Connie Riley. Connie Riley is from Okima and was appointed to the Board of Regents for the Regional University System of Oklahoma in 2007 for a nine-year term. She continues to be a terrific regent for us here at East Central University and attends most of our events and represents us most effectively. It is now my pleasure to welcome to the podium Regent Connie Riley. Thank you, President Hargrave. 
On behalf of the Board of Regents of the Regional University System of Oklahoma, I want to congratulate the East Central University graduates of 2015. We Regents recognize the major accomplishment that you have accomplished at this point, which will help you toward your future success. You know, it's been said that some universities teach, other universities truly educate. East Central University, under the visionary leaders like your president, John Hargrave, and this outstanding faculty and staff, truly educate. They have given you graduates the opportunity for a high quality education. And with education comes responsibility. I want to share briefly with you a true story about a young lady she was an elementary student years ago. She was sitting on the bus, totally dejected and feeling very, very sad. She was being raised by a single mother who was struggling to make ends meet. The day before, they had, had to cancel their phone line, so she didn't have a phone at home because her mother simply could not pay for it. She went to school that day and a couple of her friends talked about calling her and she said, oh, you can't call me, we don't have a telephone. And they ridiculed her terribly. Who doesn't have a telephone? Are you out of your mind? So she ran in a track meet later that day and she placed dead last in every race that she, in which she competed. She was sitting on the bus totally dejected and sad. And her track coach got up and walked back to the seat and handed her a little small piece of paper that he had torn off something. And he, she read it and it said, your day will come. Well, this young lady went on to win her school's title, her district title in track. She won state, she won national, and she went on to set a world record in track because she was determined after that day it would happen. When she was overseas setting that world record, a friend of hers looked at her and said, you must be really happy. You've done it all. She said, no, I'm, I'm not as happy as I thought I would be. She said, I'm elated, of course, and it's important that I reach my goals, but I don't know, I'm just not as happy as I thought I would be. Well, she married that man who was over there with her, and they eventually moved back to their home state. And this young lady was at an event, and that same track coach walked up and handed her another piece of paper. And it was a contract. And he said, I'm now superintendent of a public school, and I'd like for you to come back and be my track coach. So she and her husband talked about it. They decided they would do it. So she goes back to teach track. She took her girls track team to eight state, uh, state titles. She took the boys to eight state titles. She influenced and impacted hundreds and hundreds of students. She had students who got scholarships to college and who excelled not only in track but in life. And she looked at her husband and she said, now I'm happy. She said, track is such an individual sport. It's all about me and I'm proud of what I accomplished. But giving back to these young people, that has truly made me happy. And graduates, that's what I hope and pray for you today. It's important to reach your goals, to work a little bit harder, and to set goals. But never forget that it's important to give back, to make the community in which you live a little better because you walk through it. Again, I can't thank you enough for letting me be a small part of this day, sharing it with your family and your friends. I congratulate you and I thank you again from the bottom of my heart. This is my favorite part of being a Regent, is seeing you graduate. Thank you.